Let's talk about the briefcase that might blow up and what it has to do with your privacy and making sure you're not spied on, making sure you're protected. My name is Jason Hansen. I'm a former CIA officer and I want to tell you a quick story. So let's pretend you're an intelligence operative. Maybe you work for the CIA, maybe you work for the DIA, NSA. There's many intelligence agencies, so pick your poison. When you work for this intelligence agency, you're going on some super duper secret squirrel mission overseas and so you get issued a briefcase. Now this briefcase looks like any ordinary briefcase. Maybe it's a Samsonite, maybe it's any number of companies that make briefcases, but if you were to be walking down the street, whether it's here in the US or overseas, and you were holding your briefcase in your hand, everybody would think it's just a normal black briefcase. Wouldn't raise any eyebrows at all. But because you're an intelligence operative, in this briefcase, you're gonna have highly classified information. So if it were to fall in the wrong hands, you would be up the creek without a paddle. That's why this briefcase has a tamper defeat. And we're gonna go more in depth about tamper defeats, tamper detections, because as I said earlier, Earlier has to do with protecting your privacy, make sure you're not being spied on. So this briefcase has an amber defeat. What does that mean? Well, let's say you pop the briefcase on a table, you put in the code, or maybe you just take a crowbar or something, you pry it open. If you pry it open, that sucker explodes. It destroys everything, completely incinerates everything inside the briefcase. You would not want to be on the end of that if somebody's popping that open. Now, of course, since you're the intelligence operative, you know that when you're putting classified material in there, when you're grabbing anything out of it, You've got to flip it over, excuse me, to open it upside down. That way the whole thing doesn't explode in your face. But the reason, of course, for that tamper defeat is if it falls into the wrong hands, maybe you're going through the airport, maybe you're going somewhere else, and foreign intelligence services on you and they want to open that thing up and you say absolutely not, absolutely not. Well, of course, they're going to open it up the normal way. They're going to spin it off, try and guess the code, or they're probably just going to pry it open. Everything's going to blow up and there's going to be no classified material in there, no evidence at all that you're walking around a foreign country or wherever. That is a tamper defeat. That is making sure that when somebody tries to get in your private place with your important information, it's going to be gone. That way, nothing can be held against you. Of course, being that you're so civilian, being that we're civilians now, I'm ex-CIA, I no longer work for the agency, is I'm not walking around the briefcase that's going to explode. But that doesn't mean I don't want tamper detection. So for example, if I'm going to a hotel, maybe I'm going on a business trip because I travel all the time doing consulting, doing trainings, especially overseas where you're very, very likely to have somebody go in your hotel and go through stuff. But even here in the US, I do it because old habits die hard, is I may do a tamper detection, which is something super easy, meaning if I have my suitcase, I put my suitcase on the table, I'm closing and I'm putting the zippers in an exact location and I know where that location is. That way I come back and can say, okay, this zipper was closed four inches from the front. Has anybody moved that zipper? Or I like toothpicks. I'm a, I'm a guy who always likes to have a toothpick. So maybe I take a toothpick and I put a toothpick on my suitcase at a very specific location. So if I come back and that toothpick is knocked off or that toothpick is moved somewhere else or not exactly where I put it, well then I know somebody's onto me and rummaging through my material. So those those are examples of very simple tamper detections. Of course, you can do anything. You could leave some money in there, maybe a couple dollars, and have your dollar bills facing a certain way. And if you come back and those dollar bills aren't exactly what you leave them or left them, well, then somebody's gone through there. If you really want to take it to another level, when you're exiting your door, take a piece of paper, put the piece of paper on the door crack and shut it. If that piece of paper is on the ground when you come back, obviously somebody's been in your room, or if it's not in the exact location. Because the pros will pick up that piece of paper and put it back, but they're not going exactly know how many inches from the top or bottom you put it. So those are some simple examples of tamper detections. Do them, especially if you're traveling overseas. And of course, if you're traveling overseas, don't take anything important. If you're going to China, make sure you have a dummy laptop, meaning not your real laptop that you use every day. Buy a cheap $500 laptop, take that to China, because they are going to go through your stuff. They're going to swipe every single electronic you have, which is why if you have a cell phone, get a cheap prepaid phone, get a flip phone. Don't take your good cell phone with everything. You don't think people can suck out all the information in there in a heartbeat? Ask me how I know. So you have some tips on how to protect your privacy better, how to know if you're being spied on. I'm former CIA officer Jason Hansen. If you want to know more tips, just click below. There's a boatload of spy information I share that is applicable to in your life. And don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on your ring notification, and have a wonderful rest of the day, and God bless you.